What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with the Xbox Sales of the Week. I'm going to show you some easy achievement games and also some good sales. In this video, we're going to be going over the sale from October 18th to October 24th, 2022 and I have 55 games for you. Before we get into the sale, I just want to make a little announcement. I'm going to be starting to do the sale videos every week, Tuesday. I'm going to start uploading them on time. But the only thing is it's going to be for members only. They're going to have early access. So you can become a YouTube member. It's only $3 or you can become a member on Patreon. It's the same price, $3, and you guys can have early access, and you can watch the sale videos every week on Tuesday, the latest, maybe Wednesday. But if you don't want to become a member, the sale videos are going to be up every week on Friday for the public, for everybody. But if you want, you can become a member, and you can watch the sale videos earlier in the week, and also you'll be supporting me, which I really appreciate it. I definitely can use it. So it's patreon.com slash achievementland, or you could join and become a member right here on YouTube. Just hit the join button. I'll have the links below as well. But also, you don't have to join. It's totally fine. Just watching and liking my videos is plenty of support. But that's going to be it, guys. Um, thanks so much, and let's get into the video here. All right, so the first game is 890B, which is only $5, and it's on sale for $3. And this is a little puzzle adventure game that's a really easy completion. It takes about a half an hour, and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Airy, A New Frontier, which is only $10, and it's on sale for $7. And this is the game where you play as the bird and fly around and collect the feathers or orbs, whatever. And it's a really easy completion. It takes like an hour or two. And also, Airy Calm Mind is also on sale. This one's only $10, and it's on sale for $6.69. And it's the same thing. It takes like an hour or two. The next game is Allison's Diary Rebirth, which is only $10, and it's on sale for $5. And this is a little horror adventure game that's a really easy completion that takes like a half an hour to an hour. The next game is Ball Lab, which is only $5, and it's on sale for $3, and this is a very easy platformer game that only takes about 5 minutes to complete, and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Ballatron, which is only $5, and it's on sale for $3.50, and this is a fun puzzle game that's an easy completion. It takes like 10 minutes, and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Black Default, which is only $15, and it's on sale for $4.50, and this is a puzzle platformer game that's an easy completion. It takes about an hour or so, and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Black Mirror, which is only $40, and it's on sale for $10. That's a good sale. And this is a point-and-click adventure game that's an easy completion. It takes like 6 to 8 hours, though. The next game is Blow and Fly, which is only $5, and it's on sale for $3.50. And this is a puzzle platforming game that's a fun game and an easy completion. It takes like 10 to 15 minutes, and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Breakneck City, which is only $10, and it's on sale for $5. And this is a beat-em-up game that's a really easy completion. It only takes 20 minutes, and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Cake Invaders, which is only $6, and it's on sale for $3.60, and this is a defense shoot 'em up and it's a fun and easy completion that takes like 15 minutes or so, and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Carry On, which is only $20, and it's on sale for $10, and this is a really good Metrovania game that just left Game Pass, so if you missed it, you could pick it up on sale, and it's an easy completion. It only takes about two hours or so, and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Crime Opera, The Butterfly Effect, which is only $10, and it's on sale for $4, and this is a very quick and easy completion. It's a visual novel, and it takes like 5 minutes to get all the achievements, and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Crypt of the Serpent King Remastered, which is only $3, and it's on sale for $2.40. Not much of a sale, but it's a first-person hack-and-slash game that's an easy completion and only takes a few hours. The next game is D4, Dark Dreams Don't Die, which is only $15, and it's on sale for $7.50, and this is a point-click adventure game that's an easy completion. It takes like 15 to 20 hours, though. The story's pretty weird and interesting, but uh, it leaves on a cliffhanger. They were supposed to add more to this game, and they just never did, unfortunately. The next game is Disney Classic Games Aladdin and Lion King, which is only $20, and it's on sale for $10, and this is an easy completion. It comes with both classic games from Sega, Aladdin, and The Lion King, so there's some nostalgia here if you played these back in the day, but this game is an easy completion because you can use save states, and with a walkthrough, you could do it in like a half an hour to an hour. The next game is Divination, which is only $5, and it's on sale for $3.50, and this is another visual novel that's a quick and easy completion. It only takes about five minutes, and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is DreamWorks Dragons Dawn of New Riders, which is only $30 and it's on sale for $12. That's a good sale and this is a pretty good game and it's a straightforward easy completion. It's an adventure game and it takes like 6 to 8 hours. The next game is Drizzle Path Deja Vu, which is only $7 and it's on sale for $4.19. And this is a first person adventure walking sim that's an easy completion. It takes like a half an hour and I have a walkthrough for it. 
The next game is Drunken Fist, which is only $8 and it's on sale for $3.19. And this is a drunken physics-based beat-em-up game that's pretty fun. The controls can be a little annoying, but it's an easy completion. It takes like a half an hour and I have a walkthrough for it. The second one is also on sale. It's normally $8 and it's on sale for $5.60. And this is also an easy completion. It just takes like a little bit longer, like 40 minutes or so. The next game is El Gancho, which is only $7 and it's on sale for $4.19. And this is a platformer game that's an easy completion that takes like 40 minutes and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Explosive Candy World, which is only $5 and it's on sale for $3.50. And this is a puzzle platformer game that's an easy completion. It takes like a half an hour and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Flying Soldiers, which is only $10 and it's on sale for $6. And this is a strategy puzzle game that's a really easy completion with a walkthrough. It takes like an hour or two. The next game is Horatio Goes Snowboarding, which is only $7 and it's on sale for $4.19. And this is like a runner snowboarding game. It's a pretty fun game, but it's a little challenging. You can get most of the achievements pretty easy, but there's a few challenging achievements. But it's a pretty fun game if you want to try it out. It's a good sale, and I have a video going over it. The next game is Hotel Transylvania 3, which is only $25 and it's on sale for $10. And this is a pretty straightforward, easy completion. And it's a fun game. It's an action adventure game. And it takes like six to eight hours, and there's no missables. The next game is Ice Age, which is only $30, and it's on sale for $12, and this is a platformer adventure game that's a straightforward, easy completion. It takes like 8 to 10 hours. The next game is Kid Ball Adventure, which is only $5, and it's on sale for $4, and this is a very easy platformer game. It only takes like 10 minutes to complete, and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Last Beat Enhanced, which is only $10, and it's on sale for $7.50, and this is a beat-em-up game that's an easy completion, and it takes like a half an hour or so. The next game is Mina and Michi, which is only $5 and it's on sale for $2.50. And this is a little puzzle adventure game that's a very easy completion. It takes like 10 minutes and I have a walkthrough for it. Next, we have a bundle. We have the Outbreak Complete Collection, which is only $80 and it's on sale for $24. That's a good sale and it comes with 10 games. And most of them are easy and I have walkthroughs for them. The Definitive Edition is the Xbox Series Stack version of the game. And I have walkthroughs for most of these like Epidemic, Lost Hope, and uh, the Nightmare Chronicles. But this is a good sale and uh, a lot of good games to complete because you could double up on these uh, stacks here. The next game is Rayland, which is only $5 and it's on sale for $3.50. And this is an easy puzzle game. It takes like 10 minutes to complete and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Slap the Rocks, which is only $5 and it's on sale for $3.50. And this is another easy puzzle game. It takes like 15 minutes or so and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Space Wing War, which is only $7 and it's on sale for $4.89. And this is a shoot 'em up game that's an easy completion. It takes like a half an hour to an hour. The next game is Splash Cars, which is only $7 and it's on sale for $4.19. And this is a fun racing uh, puzzle game, kind of. You have to uh, go around and paint in the area. And it's an easy completion. It takes like an hour and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is The Dead Tree, which is only $10 and it's on sale for $6. And this is a walking sim adventure, which is a really easy completion with a walkthrough. It takes like two hours. The next game is The In's Mouth Case, which is only $15 and it's on sale for $3. That's a good sale. And this is a really easy game. It's another visual novel game, but it takes like two to three hours to complete. The next game is The Letter, which is only $20 and it's on sale for $10. And this is another visual novel, but this one's very quick and easy. It takes like 15 minutes and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is The Pillar Puzzle Escape, which is only $10 and it's on sale for $3. And this is an easy completion with a walkthrough. It takes like an hour or two. The next game is the Raven Remaster, which is only $30 and it's on sale for $7.50. That's a pretty good sale. And this is an easy game. It's a point click adventure game. And with a walkthrough, it takes like 8 to 10 hours. The next game is the Sorrow Virus, which is only $15 and it's on sale for $9.74. And this is a puzzle adventure game that's an easy completion. With a walkthrough, it takes like 2 hours. The next game is Thunder Kid, which is only $8 and it's on sale for $4.79. And this is a shooter platformer game. And it's a pretty easy completion. It takes a little bit of skill though, but it's a short game that only takes like 20-30 minutes to complete. Next up is Venus Improbable Dream, which is only $10 and it's on sale for $6. And this is another quick and easy visual novel. It only takes five minutes to complete and I have a walkthrough for it. The next game is Voodoo Vince Remastered, which is only $15 and it's on sale for $374. And this is a platformer adventure game and it's a pretty good game and an easy completion. It just takes like 12 to 15 hours to complete though. And then the last game is Z Warp, which is only $7 and it's on sale for $4.90. And this is a shoot 'em up game. It's a little challenging. It takes a little bit of skill, but it's not too hard. And it should take like an hour or so. So there we go, guys. There's some easy achievement games and also some good sales from this week's Xbox sale. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. Leave a like if it did. And I'll catch you guys next time here at Achievement Land. <laughs>